Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News, and Pete Davidson is reportedly removing all of his over 100 tattoos, and fans have a lot to say on social media. So fans of Pete Davidson know that he's pretty much covered in tattoos from neck to foot. He has tattoos of some of his favorite political figures like Hillary Clinton and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. He also has tattoos to represent some of his favorite movies and shows, like a Game of Thrones dire wolf and multiple Harry Potter designs. And over the years, Pete has been known to cover up tattoos that he no longer wants, like he did with his tattoo tributes to Ariana Grande. In an interview with Inked Magazine earlier this year, Pete opened up about why he has so many tattoos and how it's helped him with mental health struggles. He said, quote, it's just a release. When I'm so manic and upset, sometimes that's the only thing that will work for me. But Pete just revealed that he's in the process of removing all of his year's worth of ink. Film critic Mike McGranigan took to Twitter last week after a Q&A for Pete's 2020 film, The King of Staten Island. Mike said, just attended a virtual Q&A with D. Judd Apatow and the cast of The King of Staten Island. And here's a scoop, Pete Davidson is in the process of getting all his tattoos removed. Mike also followed up to a fan who couldn't believe it saying, no, it's real. He even showed his hand, which is already done. He said it takes three to four hours in the makeup chair to cover them, so he figured it would be easier to get them burned off. The moderator of the panel also confirmed Pete's tattoo comments to page six. And ever since this news came out, fans have been taking to Twitter to share their heartbreak over Pete's tattoo removal process. One person wrote, y'all, Pete Davidson is getting all of his tattoos removed. He may no longer be my celebrity crush. This fan chimed in saying, this tweet is for Pete Davidson and him only. Removing your neck tattoos is ruining my life. And this person tweeted multiple times about the news writing, Pete Davidson is apparently getting his tattoos all removed. So if you see me crying tonight, mind your own business, but that is why. And learning that Pete Davidson is removing all his tattoos might give me the same feelings a divorce would give me. Clearly they're not handling this news well, but one person who may be happy about Pete's decision is SNL executive producer Lauren Michaels. During a Q&A last year, fellow comedian John Mulaney and Pete revealed that Lauren isn't a fan of Pete's growing tattoo collection. Pete recalled a time when he saw Lauren and he said, we were sitting down and Lauren goes, so you have a tattoo of a wolf? Is that so you won't forget what they look like? So who knows, maybe Lauren will be happy and it will make Pete's life easier without having to spend four hours in the makeup chair getting them covered up for SNL sketches. But Pete has a long road ahead of him because the tattoo removal process is no joke. According to Glamour Magazine, getting tattoos removed is insanely painful, way more than getting the tattoo is. And additionally, it will take months, if not years, to remove the tattoos via laser removal sessions, which cost around $465 each time. And even then, there will likely be some discoloration or scarring where the tattoo once was. And with the amount of tattoos that Pete has, we are just going to wish him luck on that journey because, whew, that sounds painful. But for more on Pete Davidson, click right over here for another Clever News video. And let us know down in the comments if you're sad too, or if you're excited to see a tattoo list Pete Davidson. Say that three times fast. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram, at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.